This is an imaginary opening theme song. Theme song. Oh. Hey guys, you know what's a really good thing to do? Is to fake being pregnant and then ask people for money. <laughs> what? It's not a good idea to do that. Uh-oh, I think someone forgot to give Caroline Costner that memo. Mm -mm. Let's see what the result of that forgetfulness was, shall we? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, just look around for whatever you lost. Okay, guys, I lost the baby, and I don't know exactly where I put it. it... Uh-huh, so after saying all that, if you don't say, haha, joke, joke, joke. Yeah, no. Also, this, this is a terrible joke, but you know. It has to be around here somewhere. Okay, so some of you guys are probably wondering... Yeah, no one knows no, what's I happening. No, I'm not pregnant. And I'm sure some of you are shocked. I'm sure some of you are not surprised at all. I'm mm -hmm. sure some of you don't care. But some of you mm -hmm. might be asking... <laughs> when you're a content creator, the... That noise she just made, yes. That, that explains everything I need to know, <laughs> Why she did it? Oh, gee. Oh, this is gonna be something, ain't it? Ain't the line between entertainment and reality uh -huh. is very blurred. Your audience uh -huh. will become very attached to... Okay, first of all, the only time it gets very blurred is if you get caught up in it way too much yourself. That's how you get... the lines get blurred, okay? That's why it's important to, like, have a, a work-life balance and stuff, you know, like, keep your work separate from your actual life an abstraction of yourself. And the odd thing is uh -huh. that this connection can become very personally meaningful to the viewers while uh -huh. yes. not being personally meaningful to the they creator can't get itself. Attached. Your attention is monetarily valuable to me. And unless you have some narcissistic uh -huh. tendencies, which a lot of us do, the experience of having a parasocial relationship with mm -hmm. your audience can be very uncomfortable. I'll give you an example. When I was... Uh, yeah, parasocialness is a huge problem, but... I do not see where you're going with any of this, girl, so let's see. I was 15 and I first started making content, I had a lot of people threaten to rape me every day. And if you could imagine, this was not fun. And the problem well, with the... this, beyond the obvious, is that there's no meaningful way to respond to this interaction. The offender has anonymity, and in some way, so do I. So I'm not treating them like a real person, they're not treating me like a real person. The best thing you can do, guys, if you don't want to see a comment, just ban the person, whoever is writing a comment that you do not want to see. You have the power, okay? Also, you can ban certain words if you don't want to see them, etc., etc. You know, there are ways to protect yourself uh, from stuff happening, yes. You're not real, and I'm not real, and mm -hmm. none of this is real, and yet the effect that we have on each other is still very real. I come on the... I come... Nope. I am... Hold on. Mm -hmm. I will present myself on the internet because I want to desperately be seen and to connect to other people. And uh -huh. a lot of you come on the internet, a, no, a lot of you will engage on the internet because you want to be seen and because you desperately want to connect to someone. I lied about I mean, being pregnant as yeah, a that joke. Does happen. And the joke is not that pregnancy under strenuous circumstances is funny. The joke uh -huh. is not that the audience was gullible enough to believe that I was pregnant. The joke is you connected to something that wasn't real. And I have be- Even the part of the joke you said is not a joke, girl. ...become something that isn't real. We all come here uh -huh. to find this connection over and over again. And we don't really find it until now when you subscribe to my Patreon. Yes, that's exactly right. She did all of this for money. You know? Oh yeah, that's fucking right. This entire stunt has been uh -huh. an advertisement for my Patreon. I'm also announcing that I'm coming back to YouTube. Listen, I wanted to yeah. come back to YouTube and explain to everyone stunt, I would say. why I had been gone and uh -huh. what had happened to me in that time that made uh -huh. me want to come back. But some of you in my audience are pretty weird and I don't blame any of you. You know, you can't help being weird, but I didn't think yeah. that it would be healthy for me to expose myself like that. Yeah, everything that if your audience is super weird, maybe you cultivated that kind of environment as well. I'm just saying. Also, the part of you not being real because you announced you were pregnant was because you yourself faked being pregnant. But that doesn't mean you weren't real. You were just trying to make people think you were pregnant. But, you know, you doing that was the real part. So, you know, your stunt was really underhanded. <laughs> 
to all of you. And that's why I decided to keep a lot of my more sensitive information behind a paywall, where I would hope uh -huh. some of the audience would be more intentional with how they interact with me because uh -huh. now it costs money to do so. Yeah, even Guys, if you I'm put back. it behind a paywall, I'm you shouldn't give people sensitive information. I'm so excited to be back. What better way to return to YouTube, what more ceremonious way to return to YouTube than by bringing back the advice videos? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. Doctor, not Doctor Caroline, is back in the building. So if you uh, are looking for uh, advice, yep, because I am looking for content, to her, be sure honestly, to email your questions advice. and concerns to constantarquestions at yahoo.com. I'm almost certain that's the email. I could be wrong. Uh -huh. The advice is don't take advice from her in the first place. Okay, so let's talk about what we just witnessed because, like, yeah. So basically, she is um, blaming people for being parasocial and believing her and all that and stuff like that. But, like, <sighs> you know, what you did was also not good. I don't know where she got this idea that faking pregnancy was a good thing to do. Maybe because, you know, there was that trend a while it's like it's been forever since i try and became a thing but you know where a lot of people would fake a pregnancy test to scare their boyfriends and stuff like that yeah it's kind of like that but then she took it way 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 too far and then she basically said ha ha suckers what's up now give me more money i mean the actions you did basically you're trying to get your audience to be parasocial towards you but you also are judging people who are parasocial as well so you want them to give you money but you also want to judge them and you can't have it every way you wanted to have it okay that's not how this works okay basically people please uh do not be parasocial even if you like a content creator even if you think you know them and you connect with them in their videos and stuff like that you could feel something right but at the end of the day you don't know them okay you don't even know your next door neighbor for crying out loud how would you know the content creator come on yeah this was something indeed and something that should have never been done but people do a lot of stuff that are questionable like how some people uh, actually lick the toilet seats because of another popular trend which they thought for sure that other people were doing it even though most of them probably faked it and they actually didn't lick the toilet seat because you know that's not a good thing to do in the first place but somehow she went the even more way worse option that you could pick you picked it and stuff like that like if this was a bad sketch idea it still wouldn't have been good at least it would have been less ugh. I... okay so the takeaway is do not be parasocial and don't do this this kind of stuff in the first place and go and watch another video and subscribe and like and i'll see you in another video bye, bye.